Breaking news. Today is Friday. Monday, all those truck drivers that put 30, 40 years in with yellow freight will no longer have a job. That means they don't have a pension. Because Yellow Freight hadn't been sending the money to where they were supposed to have been sending the money to. But yet they made $700 billion in two years. And they refused to send the $50 million to where it's supposed to be a debt. So they decide they will close the doors come Monday. So all those people that put all that time in have to start all the way to the bottom again. But what if they're 65 years old, ready to retire? Oh, well. All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim al Shai, Wahabrachakwadash, with Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai. That's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's his true name. And the Rakhak Wadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and all sincerity. And we just saw that video clip where you had that truck driver, you know, explaining, you know, to the people what's going on. With the uh, Yellow Freight employees right now. And, you know, that's a um, major trucking, you know, company in America. And they're just, you know, uh, closing shop, basically. All right. And you see all those employees. And I'll say this in specific, you know, those that put in time, you know, like how that, you know, uh, uh, that man said, that elderly man said, you know, those that put in that, you know, the 25, 30, 40 years in. They're not going to get a pension now, all right? And you see, these companies, they they know what they're doing, okay? You know, they know what they're doing. And a lot of them understand that America as a whole is closing, all right? You know, if you, whether you know it or not, America is falling. You know, this is not, uh, you know, America in the 1950s and 60s anymore, okay? You know? I'll even say this, you know, America was, you know, um, you know, was somewhat doing good till really, I would say till the the economic crash in 08, you know, because really America hasn't really bounced back ever since then, you know, it's been on a, uh, a rapid decline. All right. But point being though, is these major companies, you know, I'll say this, those who own these major companies understand that. You know, America's in a decline. Okay, so you know they're they're just trying to wrap everything up, and they don't care about the little guy. All right, and I'll say this. You know, you in specific, you Israelites. Which, if you don't know who the Israelites are, that's the true biblical nationality of the so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And a uh, uh, quick little side note: we also have a portion of our people that are mixed amongst uh, the heathen. And with that being said, they're actually going to look like the heathen. And that's due to the fact that our men have mixed and mingled with the heathen women. All right, but point being, you Israelites, all right, you know, this is what happens when you trust in oppression. This is what happens, you know, when you um, believe in a system that was never really built for you, all right? And now you're getting the short end of the stick and you're screwed. Okay? You're screwed now. And that's why the scriptures say this. This is Isaiah chapter 30 verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, which that's talking about you Israelites. Okay? Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord Yahweh, that take counsel but not of me, and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth, to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. And um, America in the scriptures is um, is known as spiritual Egypt. And you, you have gone down to Egypt for help. 
Okay? You have gone down to Egypt for help. As the scriptures uh say, okay? You know that that that's in um Isaiah the 30th uh the, was it the 31st chapter? Let me get this real quick. This is Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not unto the holy one of Israel, neither seek the uh, the Lord Yahweh. And the reason why you all trust in America is because this place has a um, a great army, all right? You know, it's very established. And, and it, you know, you uh, uh, you believe that you're going to get protected from it, okay? Or, or protection from it, all right? And the main reason why you support this is because, as it says in Isaiah 30 and 1, as we just read, that you may add sin to sin. The reason why you love America is because you you can continue to uh, do what you want. There's no rules and regulations really in this place. Okay? And what I mean by that is this place is ungodly. You don't. Uh, he, this place doesn't follow the laws of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright, the laws of the Bible. It feeds to your flesh. It caters to your flesh. And that's why you love it. Because sin caters to your flesh. Hey, but if you um, if you uh, uh, you know, live an ungodly lifestyle, which is really a death style, right? You're gonna perish. If you break the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Hashem Shai, you will uh, be punished, and that's what's happening to a lot of you people. Okay, and this is why, as it says here in Isaiah thirty and three, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. Now you people are completely through and done, okay? Now, now, now you're uh, running around like a, a chicken with its head cut off, okay? You see? Because a lot of people, they're, 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 they're losing their minds now. And I'm going to get another video, all right? I'm going get, to uh, get this video right here because you had this one guy losing his marbles, all right? Losing his marbles because of what's happening. Now let, 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 let's watch it. Most of us. It's all. It ain't you. It's these motherfuckers right here. It's the motherfuckers on the top. But now we got to do this shit again. You got to do this shit again. Can nobody tell me. Can nobody here tell me why I get it. Most of us. Why do we talk to you? That's why I'm sorry. Fuck it. That's fine. You can do that. You don't know where I'm from. You can do that. I'm on my ass over this motherfucker. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, 30 some motherfuckers here. Yeah, I agree too. 30 some fucking years. I agree you too. tell me I ain't got no motherfucking pension. Uh, yeah, yeah, I agree. And nobody tell me to calm my ass down. I agree. Fuck everybody tell me to calm down. God damn it. This is my motherfucking money y'all playing with. You're right. You're right, Dwayne. Fuck that right. shit. So, so this is right. what I'm saying. You gotta tell me how the motherfucking feel. Fuck that shit, man. So this is what I'm saying. Fuck this shit. Anytime, anytime the government analyzes that shit. Anytime the government builds out a corporation. You see, he, he he was losing it, man. Okay, he put in thirty years, as you just heard, thirty years, and now his his pension's gone, all his money. See, he trusted in, in Egypt. All right, he believed in this system, and now it's his confusion, it's his shame. Okay, this guy's completely through. All right, now his retirement's gone. You know, his his retirement funds are gone, and he's out of a job too. Cause you know the guy, you know the guy looks um like he's probably like in his maybe mid fifties or something you know so he he you know maybe like uh, sixty so he has you know some time you know still to work now it's just through it's gone now he's got to figure out a new game plan all right and this is I'll say this this is just you know the tip of the iceberg you know because society is still intact so what's gonna happen when this place really crumbles down all right and really c collapses and it really falls apart. You people are going to be gone, man. You're going to be through. All right? That's why we uh, always push this scripture, which I'll get in a moment. All right, let me get this. Uh, it's also in the book of Isaiah. Let's get chapter 33, verse 6. It says here, oh, Salakia. Let me get this first. Um, Let's get uh, Isaiah 55 and 6, and then we'll go to actually uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. But let me get this one first. This is what it says here. 
Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, Yahweh, and he will have mercy upon him and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. All right. You see, seek the Lord while he may be found. Change. All right. You know, uh, 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 return unto Yahweh, Bashim al Shai. Okay? Forsake your evil ways. Because look, America is not going to save you. All right? Look, uh, uh, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, he's not going to save you. All right? From the, uh, the, the uh, destruction that's coming to this place. You see? The only one that's going to save you is Yahweh Bashim al Shai. All right? Yahweh through his son. Yahweh Shai. That's it. That's it. There is no, uh, you know, a, a plan B, C, D, all right, going down to Z. There's only a, a plan A, which is returning unto Yahweh Bashim al Shai and getting saved by them. That's it. You see? Because look, when things really go down, you're going to need the uh, this wisdom, okay? This is Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. You see, wisdom and knowledge, that's what's going to keep you stable. That's what's going to keep you faithful in those evil times. And even right now, because if you don't have this wisdom, you're lost in this place. Like I mean, like I said, look at that Jake. He 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 trusted in this place. All right, with all his heart, <laughs> and look where it's gotten him. Now he's just through, completely through. He hey, hey real talk. People like that, they they just might just say, you know what? The the, the hell with life, you know. I, I man, I I lost everything. I'm just gonna shoot up, you know, uh uh the the job. I'm uh, I'm gonna you know, uh, 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 shoot up the job and kill myself, <laughs> you know, and that's what we've been seeing, you know, throughout America. All these what they call them, what mass shootings, you know. This is what's uh, occurring, man. All right. So it's very important to have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, because now you know what we know the 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 down, you know, the end of this place. You understand it has a downfall, it has an expiration date, and you understand that. You have to, you know, return unto your power in order to get saved, okay? Then you also stop caring about, you know, the, the, the uh, things of this life. You know, you just really are looking for your daily bread, all right? You just want to have, a, you know, a, a meal, a roof over your head, okay? Some clothes, and that's it. And then, you know, if the Lord blesses you with the car and a couple of other things, hey, that, that, that's just, you know... um. You know, so some you know, like I said, a blessing. It's like a treat, so to speak. You know, all right. And you just you know keep it moving. You see, but let me keep reading because this last part's key. It says the fear of the Lord is his treasure, and why is fearing the Lord a treasure? Let me get this. Psalms chapter thirty-four, and we'll start at six. Man, there's a lot in here. Whew. Give me one moment. I'm just double checking. Yeah, but it says here, this is uh, Psalm 34 and 6. This poor man cried and the Lord Yahweh heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord Yahweh encampeth round about them that fear him. And deliver at them. This is why the fear of the Lord is our treasure. Because if you fear the Lord. That's the first step of being accepted by him. And when you're accepted by him. That means he's going to protect you. In. Um, in so many ways. And he's going to uh, always deliver you. From uh, your troubles. Okay. You see. See guys like that. They, the, like the guy that I showed you. He's done. He's absolutely done. Okay? I'm telling you, that guy is going to lose it. He's going to lose it. Yeah, he may find another 
you know, trucking job to, you know, keep him going. But he lost his pension. He lost his pension. He's been working at that place for 30 years, he said, roughly. Okay? 30 years, man. And remember, these guys, they they, they, they got that, you know, that, that nice little bank, you know, that retirement bank account, so to speak. And it's just gone within an instant. All right, let's keep reading. Oh, taste and see the Lord, that the Lord is good, and blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. And I believe that want goes into like uh, uh, lacking. You're not going to lack anything. Let me just double check. What was that Psalms 34 and uh, 9? Give me one second here. Psalms chapter 34. Give me a moment. I believe it was 9, right? Psalms 34 and 9. Let's get it. This is uh, Psalms chapter 34 and 9. Let me see. Um, let me look up this word want. Yeah, you're not going to lack anything. All right? You're not going to be in poverty. Okay? Things needed. You're going to have, you know, uh, your daily bread. You're going to have. All right, you're, you 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 know your food and raiment. All right, you're gonna have a you know shelter, and then they all you know, you know you're gonna have this wisdom, which is you know really the most important thing, having the knowledge and wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Okay, because that keeps you a um, that that, 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 keep, that gives you a sound mind, you know you're you, you're clear headed. All right, you see. Let me go, go down to this last verse here, and then we're going to end it off. This is uh, Psalms 34 and 17. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them uh, them out of uh, all their troubles. All right, so, see, the Lord, he's going to um, protect those that serve him, okay? He's going to protect those that serve him. You know, and those who are rebellious, they, 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 they this is the judgments, okay? These are the judgments. You know, I'm not going to play the audio, but you see it. Lord is a st stripping these, you know, uh, sh stripping things from these people, man. You know, America is really through. It's evident. You know, you got people losing pensions, you know, left and right, 401ks. You know, uh, cities are... Um, I'm getting worse and worse out here. The, the drug use is at an all-time high. The divorce rates are at an all-time high. You know? Uh, you know, this, 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 it's just... It's, just, it's a, a, a society that's falling apart. Okay? This can't last forever. Hey, the, the youth doesn't even care about what's going on. They're just living in the moment. <laughs> a lot of them believe... Um, that they're just gonna, they're gonna die, you know, at the age, you know, of like twenty five. A lot of you talk to a lot of these youngins, man. They they don't even think they're gonna get hit thirty, man. Which a lot of them aren't, <laughs> but they got that in their mind already. Like I'm just done. I, I'm I don't care, you know. So hey, this is what we're living in. Okay, so this place is just through, man. Hey, the the, the morale in this place is at an all time low. Okay, see. But um, that's pretty much it. But I'm going to end off this lesson. Hopefully it was an edifying one. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto you. How about Shemiah Al Shai? All right. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom and the Baba Ball.